Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a two-box random team break of 2019-2020 Upper Deck SP Game Used Hockey. Two-box random team number eight. Now one spot gets you three random teams. We've got the Arizona Coyotes and the Minnesota Wild comboed up for you to make 30. And the 10 spots times three makes 30. When's that new hockey team? The 31 makes group breaks. Kind of awkward. Let's roll it and randomize it. It's a Seattle team, right? When's that starting? Seven times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seventh and final, and a one. Seventh and final time. We got Scott down to Scott. Seven times for the teams. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seventh and final time. I'm hoping it's going to be the Seattle Sockeyes, Penguins down to Canucks. I don't know if they've even determined that yet. Isn't there some sort of fan vote? Scott with the Penguins, Chris with the Red Wings, Raymond with the Caps, Edwin, uh, Two of your three last spot mojo stars get to the Stars and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Chris with the Senators, Nick with the Flyers and the Golden Knights, Chris with the Blues, Steve with the Maple Leafs, Avalanche and Ducks, Raymond with the Hurricanes, Steve with the Bruins, Chris with the Devils, Scott with the Preds, Steve with the Sabres, Ryan with the Sharks, Chris with the Canadiens, Scott with the Islanders and the Flames, Ryan with the Coyotes Wild Combo and the Panthers, Chris with the Kings, Edwin with the Blue Jackets, Steve with the Jets, Raymond with the Rangers, Nick with the Oilers, Scott with the Blackhawks and the Vancouver Canucks. Let's sort by column B. Any trades? And there are the two boxes I just grabbed from the back. Remember, we marked those just so you know that they're all from the same inner case. The Seattle expansion team will start play in the 2021 season. So not this fall, but the next fall after that. Looks like no, no name yet. All right, apparently, I know we got to do this break, but apparently there's been a rumor as of January 29th, 2020. Seattle franchise response, rumors about selecting Kraken as a team name. The news NHL's franchise in Seattle has yet to decide a team name, blah, blah, blah. While we're aware, this is from the NHL Seattle Twitter. While we're aware of some fishy rumors surrounding our team name, please rest sure we're doing our due diligence by scouring the depths of the ocean, the tallest mountain, the densest part of the forest to find the right name for a great green city. So maybe thinking Seattle Kraken, but I don't know. I'm with Sockeyes. I'm with Sockeyes. It's a, it's a fish, which I think is popular up there. And then, you know, sometimes... People, uh, sometimes hockey players sock each other in the eye. So there, that conjures up that kind of image. I want it to be Seattle sock guys. That's my, if I had a vote, that would be my vote. On a day where everyone should be voting, I voted today. If your state has, is part of the whole superness today. All right, so trade window close. Here is the final printout right here. Yeah, when are they closing the name window, Mike Tower? You're right. When's the name window closed? Looks like they have until like next year, so they'll probably just sit on it and they'll keep test marking it until I don't know. Maybe probably I don't know when they 2021. I guess they'd have to announce it, not this summer, next summer maybe? All-Star game next year, perhaps, they'll announce it. All right, so let's see, let's hope, 
Um, hockey is not my strong suit, so let's hope I don't butcher some of these names. Dadunov, I'm going to go with that. 275, Panthers. Florida Panthers, that will be for, for Ryan. There's Connor Clifton to 113 for the Boston Bruins. Steve Birch. What, what would be a better mascot, a Kraken or a... I feel like a Kraken would scare people. And terrify people. Children, wouldn't it? Unless, I guess, it's a very cartoony Kraken. What about, what about like, a big, lovable fish? Like a sockeye. Let's look at a sockeye. Oh, sockeyes are kind of scary too. All right, yeah. I guess either way they'd be kind of scary. We got Devin Dubnik, jersey and autograph for the Minnesota Wild. That wild one is going to go to the combo. For Ryan, Coyotes and Wild Combo. And we've got Ryan Poling. Paling? Poling? Visit your polling center today, folks. Out of 599, I guess if you're on the East Coast, you're too late. You should have voted. Central Coast, you're too late. West Coast, still have a couple hours. Do your civic duty. Canadiens, that goes to Chris. We got the left winger for the Sabres. Jeff Skinner. Skinner! <laughs> Superintendent Chalmers. I didn't know you were here. That goes to Steve Birch. And back here is Rudolph's Balsers at a 599. That relic going to the Ottawa Senators. That's going to be for Chris. All right. Next box. The wrong side. It's the one with the thumb notch. All right. Box two. We got Joey Decord to two ninety six. Another senator for Ottawa. Chris with that one. Bo to 105. EJC wonders if soccer and hockey would ever heat up resale wise. I would I would argue that hockey, well, soccer sometimes. I would argue that hockey is probably one of the best values on the secondary market. There's Nick Suzuki jersey and autograph. Connor McDavid RPA. Will probably I think only Zion maybe. I think he'll probably do better than Luka Doncic RPAs. Maybe not Luka Doncic. But Capo Caco to five ninety. No, this this hockey resale market is incredible. It almost feels like basketball where even some like of the seemingly random players will go for a lot on the secondary market. Capo Caco goes to Raymond and the Rangers. Soccer is a little hit or miss. Some years, like, it'll just go. I think World Cup cycles kind of help. If it's, like, during a World Cup cycle, those will sell really well. There's another major European tournament happening this year, so that might help boost soccer this year. There's Brady Kochik for the auto sound. Another senator for Chris. And the last one here is Nico Hersher, Jersey. All right, so these, these names are a little, little easier for me. New Jersey Devils, Chris with the New Jersey Devils. And there you have it. 
This is Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll have some more of that hockey in the store, so check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com.